Hello, it's Monday, August 6, 2007. I'm Rebecca Field with the UPI Entertainment Update. R&B singer Usher has finally tied the knot. He married his girlfriend Tamika Foster on Friday at a private ceremony in Atlanta. The couple reportedly exchanged vows in the office of their attorney. This comes nearly one week after they canceled their wedding at the Hamptons at the last minute. Foster, who's about five months pregnant, told People magazine the postponement happened because of a pregnancy scare on the day of their planned wedding. And the Bourne Ultimatum is drawing the action fans to the theaters. The third installment in the Bourne series, starring Matt Damon, was number one at U.S. box offices over the weekend, bringing in more than $70 million in ticket sales. The Simpsons movie fell to the second spot, followed by Underdog. That's all according to Box Office Mojo. Pop star Beyonce had a very warm welcome from thousands of fans in New York over the weekend. She performed at Madison Square Garden, opening with her hit song, Crazy in Love. The concert was part of her The Beyonce Experience Tour, which is expected to go through late September. The tour is promoting her second album titled B-Day. Actress Lindsay Lohan is reportedly spending some time at home in New York with her family. The actress, who was recently arrested for driving under the influence and cocaine possession, reportedly flew into New York on Friday. Her mom tells the New York Post Lohan's doing well. Her father, who struggled with his own addiction problem, says he's glad she's back with her family and he hopes to reconnect with her. And it was a weekend of all-star performances at the Virgin Festival in Baltimore. The annual two-day festival featured performances by big bands like the Smashing Pumpkins, as well as the hard rock band Velvet Revolver. Reggae star Matis Yahoo performed as well as Sting. And the crowd went wild for the hip-hop group Wu-Tang Clan. There were about 74,000 people in attendance at the weekend festival. That's all for now. Check out UPI.com for all the day's news and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day.